You can tell I just woke up. Hello, this video is a little bit different, but I'm going to be telling you why I am upgrading from recording my vlogs on my iPhone. I still have the iPhone with the home button to now recording on a real camera. And so I'm finally going to be unboxing this Canon EOS M50 vlogging camera along with just another four terabyte hard drive that I got, extra batteries that I got off of Amazon and the Zi Yun. <laughs> I don't know why it's so heavy. The Zi Yun. 3-axis gimbal stabilizer crane thingy to make everything look super extra cinematic. Then I'm going to take the camera on the stabilizer outside around New York City in different lighting situations and I'm also going to test the internal mic just because I am not one to get an external mic because it's distracting especially for vlogging. So I want to test the internal mic and see how good it is just by itself. So stick around if you want to see a super cool montage of New York City using the EOS M50 using the <laughs> using the Canon EOS M50 Hola, I'm Sammy I make vlogs about living in New York City and being an NYU student. I've been using the editing and videography skills that I've learned at school and putting them to weekly use. If you're interested in seeing what it's like living in New York City, the adult playground, you should subscribe to my channel. Do it. Just saying, it's really fun here. You should come join us. I understand. You're probably like, why should I trust you? Out of all people, your lighting is so sus. Yes, my lighting is not so good right now, but that is because it's fall in New York and this is the only time I can film, so don't judge. I have classes, okay? But maybe, just maybe, this will make it look, you know, more acceptable for you guys. So the main reason why I am switching from recording on my iPhone to this camera is because if you have seen any of my other vlogs, I don't know if you've noticed, there's some like random glitches. Like I'll be speaking right now, it might happen in this video because I'm recording on my phone right now. And then it'll just randomly like, oh. It'll just like randomly glitch and my body will be like in front of the camera and then not I don't know how to describe it so well But it basically gets one other frame from the same video and puts it together because it's missing pixels or something It just basically gets confused and once it glitches on my premiere timeline It doesn't go back and in order to fix it I have to put all my footage through Adobe media encoder, which is what I have been doing lately But it's so much work and it's killing my laptop because I have a MacBook Air it's nothing super crazy and powerful, so it's like dying on me. iPhone footage being put into Premiere. It just doesn't mix well together. And the whole time, I thought it was my laptop and I was like, damn, I need to upgrade to like a $4,000 laptop. But no, I think... This camera will help to take off the glitches. A lot of my favorite photographers use Canon. I was super in between Sony and Canon because I think I have more experience with Sony cameras just because I can check out Sony cameras at school, which is what I've been doing for most of my video projects. But I ended up getting convinced by this camera because one of my favorite all-time YouTubers, Best Dress, I don't know, I saw a video that was like, let's guess what camera Best Dress uses or something like that. It showed her holding this this camera in like a mirror video thing and she studied film at UCLA so I trust her taste okay never gonna read these why is it so thick <laughs> mm, okay camera strap it's very thin okay wow this feels like such a good weight, it's perfect. So one of the things that convinced me to get this instead of a smaller vlogging camera is that this is kind of between a DSLR camera and a vlogging camera because it's mirrorless, which makes it less heavy than a DSLR camera. But it still has that screen that goes to the side so you can see whether you're in frame or not. <gasps> This texture, I live for that. It's so vintagey and it has it in the back also. Wow, I love the feel of it. I know I keep saying this, but it's just like so in between a vlog camera and a DSLR. It's so weird. I love it. I did expect it to be a little bit heavier, so I'm glad. Look! Yeah. 
a twist so I can, oh, this is why I'm upgrading so that I can see myself while I'm vlogging. I think it might be kind of a problem, the fact that it's on the side. You see me going like, during my next vlogs, you know why. Okay, it comes with a battery, the charger for the battery. Thank God. It's such a cute lens. It's so small. I usually work with super giant heavy lenses from school, which we love giant heavy lenses as well, but this is perfect for being on the go. <gasps> it's so cute. Okay, I'm trying to put the lens on. I forgot to mention, they also offer the camera. Woo! Look at that. They offer the camera in white and black, but I just decided to go with black, even though the white is super cute looking and super unique. I just feel like that can go out of style and I don't think you can ever go wrong with a black camera. So that's the inside. I'm not sure the exact terms, but I know that it's mirrorless. So that has something to do with it. The super dramatic trailer on Best Buy shows like the inside with all these animations and it's like built-in sensors, no mirror. I don't know, it's super dramatic, but it does look really nice. Eee. Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful size. I can't stop saying it, but like, it's so small and compact. Look, let me compare with a vlogging camera that I had just in high school, just for fun. This is my old camera. I initially tried starting my vlog with this Sony camera, but the internal stabilizer was not good. Anytime I put my footage in slow motion, it was like freaking out and you can just see like the inside lens. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but you could just see that the insides were kind of like moving up and down every time I was walking. So I don't know what happened to this camera. I guess it's just older but and I'm not sure what it's called, but I wouldn't recommend it anyway because I don't know if it's just gotten old or if it's an older model so it doesn't have a good stabilizer, but I loved the fact that this would go upwards so it doesn't look obvious when you're looking at yourself like, so that might be kind of a con with this camera. So you can see the difference. This is very tiny compared to this. So you're probably like, okay, so it's just heavier and it feels better. No, you can change the lens on this, which is what's so important to me because what if later I want to be a professional photographer? I don't know, I change what I want to be all the time. So what if I'm like, you know what? I need a giant heavy lens to do super hardcore shoots. I can take off this lens and put a new one, just like the way I attached this earlier. I can do that with other lenses that are compatible with this camera. So that's such a big plus to me because I don't have to stick with this lens in the future if I'm not convinced by it. And with this other vlog camera and most vlog cameras, you have to commit to this lens that it has. But yeah, I got these batteries from Amazon. Aww, so cute. Okay, there's a wipe with the batteries, but I can use this on the lens. I just wanted to get two extra batteries because I've heard that the battery life isn't the best on this camera. Then I got this four terabyte easy store hard drive. I'm a hard drive person. I've like put it into routine to back everything up on a hard drive. That's just what I've learned in school and what I've lived with because I don't have good storage, I guess, on my computer. I think it's just great to have a hard drive. Ooh, this one is thick. I have a two terabyte one and it's not this thick or this heavy. Ah, it's so pretty. Whatever, I really want to open this. I don't know why it's so freaking heavy, but let's see. Okay. Oh my, oh, <laughs> wow. That is so hardcore. This looks like my toolbox. <gasps> wow. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what all these parts are, but I have to figure it out. This little spongy material to keep it safe. I love it. Once I have it working, I'll show you guys what it looks like with the camera on. I'm just gonna move that to the side. It's a little overwhelming. So I know I said I was gonna show you guys the settings, but I was looking at them and I think I need some more time just to learn the settings and to see what my favorite settings are so I can show you guys 
later what settings I recommend to use on this camera but for now I'm gonna use auto mode and I opened the gimbal figured out how to assemble it so I'm gonna turn it on and I haven't really played with the modes I just watched a few videos and then gave up and then watched a few videos and gave up but I'm gonna try it for the first time today so yeah just the purpose of this video is to show you guys the quality of the products and my opinion on whether or not I recommend these products to you so far I'm gonna say yes for the camera. I tried doing some walking shots on my way here and they looked pretty good so so far I'm gonna say yes. It's touch screen which I really like. Oh also in auto mode it lets you fix the exposure and it's really easy. It's on the screen and it's touch so that's another thing that I think is really easy and user friendly. I'm just gonna press the button and it should stabilize. I hope <laughs> Okay, so I was able to turn it on and the first automatic mode I think is like up and down mode. So you can, it's so heavy so I'm gonna have to do some push-ups. You can do up and down mode like this, just to do an up and down pan or I think there's side to side mode or something like that. Bruh. Oh, it turned off. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to practice. <laughs> For now, doing the up and down mode and just like turning the bottom to do pans. I think that's fine for now. And cause I can even like run up to stuff. I think that's fine for now, but I am gonna have to figure out how to do the other sideways mode. I think this is fine for now. the internal mic sounds with the mask on testing one two three i really don't think that the gimbal is going to be super practical to record myself because my fingers are already cramping because it's so heavy so i'm definitely just going to use it for scenic cinematic shots like of the city but i don't think i'm going to use it necessarily to like record myself the world trade is kind of hidden well it's completely hidden actually because it's super cloudy today but we'll get it on another day But it's gonna be obvious. I was saying earlier, like, oh, you're we're out. gonna be looking at the side. This is really cool. Ooh. Ooh. 